We got some disturbing images in the newsroom today, pictures that reminded some of us of the Holocaust. These images are from the Syrian Civil War, and some of you may not want to see them. A war crimes investigation has turned up evidence from inside what appear to be the Russian government, the Syrian government's torture chambers. Three years ago, a revolt rose up against the dictatorship there, and it has been total war ever since, with both sides guilty of atrocities. Peace talks are scheduled to begin tomorrow, but as you will see in this report by Holly Williams, peace seems a distant prospect. Some of the victims were beaten, some strangled, and others starved. One of the report's authors described it as killing on an industrial scale. The pictures come from a defector who worked for Syria's military police as a photographer. He told investigators his job was to photograph the bodies of dead prisoners after they were taken to a military hospital. Thousands of his images were examined by an international legal and forensic team who found his account believable and concluded there is clear evidence of systematic torture and killing of detained persons by the agents of the Syrian government. Over a two and a half year period during the Syrian conflict, they estimate the photographs document the torture and execution of 11,000 people. We cannot independently verify the images, and the report was funded by the Qatari government, which supports the Syrian opposition. But the authors are experienced former war crimes prosecutors, including Sir Desmond de Silva. This is all the hallmarks of ordered, deliberate, merciless execution by a whole variety of unpleasant means. And Holly Williams is joining us from Turkey. Holly, more than 100,000 people have been killed in this civil war. What makes this report different than what we've heard before? Well, Scott, both the Syrian army and the rebels are accused of atrocities during the civil war, which they've been fighting now for nearly three years. But the scale of the torture and executions alleged in this report is really unprecedented. And no end in sight to this war. Holly, thank you very much.